Hey y'all, this is Get You Some coming from your South Florida, Anna Maria Island, town of Bradenton. To all you Floridians out there. Alright, today, uh, Core i7 920 version DO overclocked to 4.2 gigs on the 21 multiplier with a core voltage of 1.29 and on the QPI DRAM core voltage same. 12 uh, gigs of G Skill Trident 2000, fresh out of the factory 2000 megahertz RAM. The stock speed on it is 9. I got it set to 7. 924 at 1600. 8 times 2 gives me a 1600, which is overclocking the shit out of it. Trying to overclock 12 gigs of RAM, I never thought would be possible, but it's working. Now, as far as the hyperthread or not the hyperthread, I haven't really found any. Unless you're playing games, it'll give you higher frame rates. And, uh, yeah, it'll definitely work better for you if you have hyperthread installed. This one I tried on a 20 multiplier with the same bus speed 1.29 volts with the 8 threads. 15 minutes, 16 minutes and 5 seconds to uh, convert a 700 megabyte AVI into a 349 megabyte MKV using MeGUI modern media encoder. And this is this it eat up some CPU. It's like running a good benchmark with that. And uh, You can see without the hyper threading, same setup, about two minute difference. So, and six degree drop, uh, increase in temps also. So, and I tried it on the 21 multiplier, overclocked to 4.2 gigs. And this seems to be my best setup right here four, four cores, four threads on 1.29 volts on the QPI and the core voltage. Same setting in my bio settings from that last video I did, except for about four changes. And this seemed to, to do very well. <clears throat> now, to get it stable with the hyper threading installed, I had to go to 1.31 volts on the core and the QPI DRAM to keep it stable. I heard of people getting these numbers on 1.25, 1.27 on the same D over version. They say it's the luck of the draw and the tip how good it is. I don't know about all that, but I mine ain't doing too well like y'all's is. And there's another one I did like 15 minutes compared to 17. So yeah, you're looking at a two minute two minute gain in time and a six degree increase in core temps so you know that's all whether it's worth it to you or not you know my motherboard's an asus p60 deluxe version 2 and this will probably be one i want to test here soon if y'all got one of these hooked up on an ASUS board, like a Rampage 2 stream, please send me the info and your numbers and stuff. I'd appreciate it, y'all. All right. This is just a little insight on whether, you, you know, for everyday use, hyperthreading is really not going to give you that much of a, a boost. You'd be better off probably enabling Turbo Boost. Which I might try next time and see how it works. All right, this here's get you some happy overclocking. Y'all have a good. One. What?